Hey everybody, my name is Kate Moore. Welcome back from the video of NHL 9. We're gonna continue this series, guys. Of course, we're playing Destiny mode, the uh, Dynasty mode. Um, on the last video, we did the free agency. We actually simulated the playoffs. Afterwards, went into the draft pick, which I completely uh, just passed right, right through because I uh, the draft picks, I'm just terrible in this game at it. We went for the free agency, the contracts and everything. Um, and now we are in the actual season. We picked up Pronger and um, Who else did we picked up? I don't remember. I'm gonna look really quick. Uh, who else did we pick up? So we picked up uh, Egingla, Egingla and Pronger. These are the two biggest players we picked up on their free agency and that's about it really. We didn't uh, get too much uh, of anything else. Uh, I had to get uh, to put Beijing in the waivers to put him back into the minors and he got claimed by Detroit so he's uh, out of the team guys but that's doesn't matter anymore we're just going to continue to sim uh, start assimilating the uh, third season I believe this is our final contract year uh, so we'll see depending on how, whether we are good we have a good year or not uh, I'm we're, we'll see if I decide to stay with this team or I go with another one. So two, four, six, eight, ten, all the way up to the Florida Panthers game. After ten games, we'll see how our team uh, does. I'm hoping for a really good season. So already we're starting off with two wins in a row, which is really good. We're obviously gonna have like the two previous seasons a really good season, but in itself, but. Afterwards, it's in the playoffs. We need to see what we're going to do in the playoffs. That's uh, the minors, I believe. Assistant score for plays. So we need to see what we're going to do when it comes time to the playoffs because we already know our two goaltenders are not that good. Littonen is okay, but uh, no, I'm not going to accept that, tra uh, that trade. Littonen is okay in the playoffs, but he should not be the one playing. Like when you have Jacques Plant in the net, you should have, uh, you should be able to like have him play superb and give him, uh, give you like basically the cup easily. But he's not doing that. He's basically terrible in the playoffs. And you got Littonen, who is a great backup, but he's not supposed to be the one playing. You know. Anyways, we end up after ten games, eight and two. We did not lose a single game in regulation so far, which. Is uh, really awesome for us. We are the best team of our conference, probably one of the best teams of the league, probably as well. Best uh, player right now is Henri Richard with 21 points. We don't have any of our players who are actually in the top, uh, in the top right here, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and continue the simulations. We're doing so well. The two, four, six, eight, and ten, all the way up to the uh, New York Islanders game. After 20 games, we'll see how it goes. So, Edward, I knew this I knew this was a, a minor thing. So, Blackbird, no, Dwyer, you're not playing. It's uh, Pavlik instead. Why is, um, why is Pavlik 63? Uh, he's 73 overall. What is it? Why does it say that? See, it says 73. Maybe he's not playing so well right now. So, he kind of has his confidence low. Maybe that's a, a, a thing. I don't know. Don't even remember. I didn't even remember that was a thing in this game. Oh well, let's see how we do. How we simulate for this uh, after 20 games? All Armstrong is injured in the NHL now, so Kozlov is going in there. We uh, we have a player in the waivers that we could claim, which is Yana Perrier. He's not. Um, no, he's not good. He's not good enough to play for us, so we're not gonna pick him up. He's be a waste of time for us. Colby Armstrong is finally back. Uh, what did Kozlov do this so far? Kozlov is actually a really good player when you think about it, guys. It's just uh, a left winger. We can't uh, play him because he's a left winger, but otherwise he would be a really good player for us. All right, let's continue simulation. We got two games remaining up until our we stop it. So there, are the, there we go. Those are 20 games played, and we got a record of 15-3-2. So we did lose three games in regulations. Uh, in the last 10, but that's okay guys. That's uh, basically a 7-3 and three record, which is still pretty awesome. Uh, Guilafar is still the best of the league, 41 points. Maurice Richard is uh, 40 points. 
Uh, still don't have one of our players which uh, that has the is in the top five, but that's okay. We're still the best team of our conference at 32 points. Now it's time to go look at our stats for the team and afterwards for the players. So uh, sort this up. Please, goals four per game. We're the best team that uh, the, the team that scores the most goals. And goals against per game. Let's see what we got. Uh, we are actually 11th. So we're doing all right for goals against per game. Power play. We are third best team of the uh, of the league for power play. Really good. Second best team for penalty kill. Really good as well. So we don't have to change any strategies, any lineups whatsoever. Uh, we're keeping it the way it is. We're playing very, very well. Now let's see. Let's look at our stats. Actually, who plays uh, who plays well? Who plays really good for us? So Kovalchuk, he's got 13 goals in uh, 20 games played, and we've got he's got the he's the best player of our team basically with 31 points uh, in 20 games played. We've got Egging now 27 points, really great acquisition for us, and uh, Peter Fosberg at 23 points as well. So that first line is uh, actually playing very good. Actually, it's Dicky Moore that's on the first line with them, and it's helping out Dicky Moore. Dicky Moore is doing all right on the first line, so that's um, yeah. I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. Definitely uh, happy about that one. Egging now is a uh, couple checks actually on the second line. Yes, he is. He's on the second line with um, Eric Stahl, which it's doing really well for uh, for the, uh, these two. And they're playing with uh, Colby Armstrong, I believe. Which Colby Armstrong is doing all right for 83 overall. He's doing pretty good. So definitely don't want to switch anything up. Um, so defense-wise, defense-wise, what do we have? 20 points and 20 games played for Pronger and Robinson as well, doing pretty good. Goaltenders. Now let's see what we did. Of course, uh, Plant is playing all the games. 90 saving percentage. See, he's playing all right in the season. Should be playing better even, but that's uh, that's basically the story of his life. So I don't know, guys. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to think. Okay, let's continue simulation. I I switch a little bit of the lineups just to see if it's gonna work out. So two, four, six, eight, and ten. All the way up at the uh, Ottawa Senators game. So we're going to see after 30 games how we play. I switched the lineups just a little bit. Yes, defense and offense. Um, I switched that. Even though we were playing great, I switched it because I wanted to see if it actually works out better for stats-wise for our players. Uh, or if our team struggle, uh, struggles, um, I'm going to have to switch it back. But if not... If it doesn't change too much and actually helps out our players, I kind of want to keep it the way it is. So Steve Shot is injured now. Um, that's good enough for me. Kozlov, you're going and, uh, to replace Steve Shot. All right, guys. We're doing all right. Uh, Kozlov is having a lot of uh, gameplay time as well. Kozlov, like he's already at six points in six game played. See that? That's ridiculous. Uh, Kozlov is really good. A really good replacement. Steve shot you're going back there there we go and we're gonna have to put him back where he was everywhere basically so Steve shot please go in your positions wherever you were every time I guess that's pretty much shit all right we're good let's see what how we're gonna be guys after 30 games I'm really interested to see how our team plays so after 30 games 21 5 and uh, four so I guess we got uh, four losses I believe so six and four that's uh that's all right that's that's okay it did uh, we did not uh, get uh, hurt too much and at the same time it kind of helped out a little bit the uh, simulation and everything and now let's go take a look at our players just go take a look at our players if uh, everything's fine so let's see who's playing better for us now uh, goal wise so Eric Stahl's the one who's got the most goals right now so I'm gonna I have to put him on the first line of uh, Fosberg uh, Williams and Fritchie so Stahl Fosberg Williams and uh, Fritchie 
We've got uh, Kovalchuk, which is really playing well, really playing well. Uh, he's playing on the first line now, guys. I put him back on the first line. I put um, I put it, uh, Dicky Moore back on the second line. He's still playing good. Uh, Steve Schott, we've got uh, Tange, all right. Um, Egingla with 15 goals, all right, that's pretty good. We got all these players and goaltenders wise, he's uh, doing all right. He's doing, uh, Plant is doing okay. All right, so we're simulating up until the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins game in the 12th of January for 40 games. At that point, that's where we're going to be uh, left off. So let's see now that I switch again. Uh, I only switch uh, Stahl and Fosberg, the lineups. So Stahl is playing on the first line. Fosberg is playing on the second line now. I'm counting on the players that score the most. And that, those are the ones that I'm going to basically pick, uh, put in the lineups of uh, more time basically uh, for them to play uh this guy is not good for it would not be good for our team so i don't care about him all right we're playing all right so far i think uh we did get i think three def uh, three losses though that's not too good kovalchuk as you can see now he's in the top five that's it's helping him big time just to play with uh on the first line and everything just to, you just put for, uh, Kovalchuk on the first line, he's going to produce like crazy. Uh, Fosberg is injured now. Uh, so, Kozlov, you're going uh, in the second line, I guess. You're going to play in the second line. Here we go. Really good. Uh, we're doing all right. We're doing all right, I believe. So, uh, we're still doing okay. We're still in the first position, Eastern Conference. Grossman is injured. We're going to have to assistant coach replace him. And uh, looks like the Rocket, Marcus Kishaw, is the best player so far right now in the league. 79 points. All the way at third position is Kovalchuk with 67 points. So Kovalchuk definitely is trying to produce a lot, guys, which is really cool for us. Really awesome. We're going to uh, take a look really quick at our lineups. All right, I did just look at our stats, guys. We're good. Um, the team stats wise I did not look at that though we're gonna look at um, at what where we are now so we're still the best team of the league uh, for goals per game and goals against per game with uh, were 10 so we went up since last time we checked power play we actually went all the way up because we're the best power play in the league and we are the best penalty kill in the league as well our last 10 games we went six three and one so Really good. Two, four, uh, six, eight, and ten, I guess. So all the way up to the Car Carolina Hurricanes game. We lost eight to seven right there. That is something right here. Uh, I, I did see that Jacques Plant is struggling right now, uh, guys. So Jacques Plant, instead of uh, being 87, 97 overall, which... When, when you look at his profile, it says he's 97, but he's actually an 87. He plays like an 87 goaltender right now. He's, uh, he's really struggling. It's not going well for him at all. Uh, Wade Brokebank. Do we uh, want him or not? He's old. He's... We don't want old players for no reason. So let's just keep it the way it is. Uh, I think we got four losses in a row now. We're definitely not playing well, and it's definitely going to hurt us. In the long run, if we start uh, losing like that, uh, we're having a tough time here, guys. No to the uh, All Stars, we don't need to watch that. That's uh, that's not good. Kovalchuk is doing great on the first line, but it's hurting us right now just because of that. Oh, that's uh, that's not good at all. I think we didn't lose a single game uh, ever since I did the changes, which is not good for us, man. We need to do better than that. Come on. Win a, a, a game or something at least. Come on, guys. You got this. I believe in you. Win some games here. Start winning games. There we go. Chad LaRose. Uh, let's see how he goes. Uh, is he a good player for us? Could he be? He can still grow. So, yeah, I'm going to pick him up. Um, McKay actually could be a really good defenseman for us. Yeah, we could upgrade our defense with this guy. So, yeah, definitely I want him. And what we're going to do, guys, instead of uh, instead of Salo, probably going to be... He did not get claimed, so that's pretty good for us. 
Uh, McKay is going to be our other go uh, our other defense. He's going to be our backup, I guess. You're right. Yeah, he's going to be our backup. A great ba even greater backup. And I think we're good. Anybody else? Don't think so. So let's just continue the simulation. And once the simulation is done, we'll I'll, uh, change the lineups and everything. Daryl Sedor. Do I really want him or not? I don't think I do. No, I don't think I want this guy. Absolutely not. Kind of too old at this point for me to pick him up. So after 50 games, I believe, 50 games played, we are at 30, 12, and 8. Which is, uh, it's, all no, it's a really good record, but the last 10 games were, not, were really bad for us, though. Uh, Kovalchuk is fourth now, uh, position in 84 points already. Really good. Let me just uh, take a look really quick at my lineups. I'll see you guys once it's done. All right, after 50 games, let's just look at our team, the way they play. Uh, just at our team stats, player stats, I guess, uh, right now. Just to look at uh, how they play, I guess. So, best scorer is Kovalchuk, 37 goals, 29 goals for Eric Stahl, and 27 goals for uh, Iggy. Now, the first line is really filthy, it's really good. As you can see, it's the three best players of the team right now, is the first line, obviously. Uh, Dicky Moore is doing okay, but he could be doing better. He was doing alright when he was playing on the first line at the beginning of the year, but playing on the second line, I don't know. I think he's kind of the same as uh, Kovalchuk, except I think he needs to play on the first line in order to play properly. But I think Kovalchuk is overall just a better player overall. So I don't know, guys. I don't know what to say. Fosberg is still injured and everything. And as you can see, goaltender-wise, Litton hasn't played a single game. Uh, Plant basically played all the games and he's 89 saving percentage. He's got um, sh one shout out only. It's it's not uh, he's not playing that good. So what I'm gonna end up doing, uh, since I don't have any confidence in Plant anymore, I'm just gonna put Letonen in here. And I think that um, with Letonen in the picture, we might have a different outlook. So two, four, six, eight, and ten, all the way up to the Philadelphia Flyers game. Let's see if with Litonen we're going to play better or like just get more chances of winning and more wins basically. Let's just see how Litonen plays as a, a starting goaltender because I have confidence in Litonen unlike, uh, unlike Plant which Plant for a good portion of the season was playing like 87 overall. He was not playing good at all guys. Uh, Kozlov, you're good. You've played good for us, but now it's time for our a big time a diff a center to be back. He has um, 11 goals. Uh, it's actually uh, 96 is, uh, offensive awareness. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to play him the t second line with Dickie Moore. Let's see how it goes. Uh, we're going to have to manually put him back where he was. Which means basically everywhere when you know it. So here we go. Just put him back where he was playing before. Right here and right here. He's uh, and right here as well. He was playing everywhere. All right, let's go. Let's see how Lieutenant goes for ten games. So far, he's doing really good. He's playing really good for us with ten games. It's actually Lieutenant is actually a pretty good def uh, goaltender. Yes, I don't know why he's a better goaltender this game than Jock Plant, which it makes no sense for me, but oh well, I mean, some things don't need to make sense, I guess. So, Litonen, really good uh, with us so far, a uh, really good record. So, let's see what we got. We're a third position right now in the Lee, uh, Eastern Conference with 83 uh, points. Kovalchuk is fourth, is still fourth overall with a hundred points in sixty games played. Uh, let's go check uh, right now who plays. Uh, who basically what um, Letonen did for us in our last ten games. All right, 
Let's do a school check if he actually has a better, if he plays better. So go, uh, goaltender, see, gets way less goals than a uh, plant does. He has a great saving percentage. I'm, I'm going to keep him in the net. I'm, I'm keeping him in there because he's playing great. So two, four, six, eight, and ten. There we go. We're going to be all the way at 70 games played. We'll see how uh, it goes again with Flit on it, man. He's playing really great for us. Wilson, uh, we don't need this guy. Nope. It's not. Uh, we, I'm not interested in bullsh uh, in uh, bullshit guys that uh, are not gonna play in the league, anyways. All right, we're good, guys. We're way good with Flitonen. I have confidence. All right, uh, Rabida for Como. Uh, I don't know, guys. Como, does he play in the league? I don't even know if he plays with us. Uh, he does. He does play with us. It's actually pretty good, pretty decent with 19 goals, 33 points. So Como is doing all right for us. Um, Rabida is actually playing pretty good, pretty good defenseman this year, uh, particularly. But um, I don't know, guys. No, I'm gonna keep Blake Como uh, unless he wants to give me something in exchange, like something else, like uh, a right winger in exchange for Blake Como. Maybe he wants to give uh, that would be a better option. So let me just see what he what he's got. So right wing. Do you have any right wings that might be interesting for me? Not really. The most interesting one would be uh, would be Nathan Orton, and it would be a little bit too much to ask. Definitely too much to ask. Bobby Ryan could be a good one. Be potential. I mean, over here. Uh, it's a B minus potential for Como, so Bobby Ryan could be a good one, I guess. Yes, yeah, sure, it could be a really good one actually. Yeah, I'll 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 make that trade happen. We got Bobby Ryan instead of Como. Uh, he's uh, just one year older, I believe, or a little bit uh, younger, I think. Bobby Ryan, and. Um, Potential is higher and he's actually having a really great year right now with uh, 77 points, uh, 67 points. So definitely, yeah, we're going to definitely uh, do that. Play him, play him there. Bobby Ryan, uh, get in there. Definitely going to play for me, buddy. And you've got 87. Uh, you're definitely a really good player to keep around to have on our team. So yeah, I'm happy with what we got. All right, let's continue simulation, guys. Let's continue uh, the simulation and see how it goes. We uh, did one trade, so Bobby Ryan for Blake Como straight up. We'll see if uh, there's anything we can get. Um, Josh Green, okay, we do not want to get this guy. The 30 years of age players that are not in the 80s, I am not interested in them. Matthias Blackburn is injured. We're going to have to replace him by Dwyer. There we go, so... No more trades, guys. We didn't. That's the only trade we did uh, this year. Uh, when you think about it, so Bobby Ryan gets injured after we get f uh, get him. That's not too good. Kozlov is gonna have to replace him. That's okay though, because we're getting uh, wins under uh, Litton, and Litton is actually making us win, which is uh, really good. So I think he's back. Pretty sure that's what it means right here. Bobby Ryan is back. Yeah, and we're gonna have to place him again. Where he was uh, playing, so Bobby Ryan, get back in here, where uh, you were in your position and everything. All right, good. We're, we're definitely winning a lot of games now that uh, we've got lit on him. There's a correlation somewhere with Plump. We were losing, or we were basically 50-50 with uh, lit on him. We're actually winning games. Good lord, man, that's a, such a difference. It's such a good difference. So let me just see really quick again. Let's go look, guys, and uh, look at the stats or player stats and see a little and how he plays. We're going to keep the be uh, playing the best goaltender out there. The best available goaltender we can play, the one that plays the mo the better, is the one that uh, we're going to play, guys. All right, 91 saving percentage. It did not, uh, it did not go down. It did not go up. So I'm keeping him in there. He's definitely playing good. 
playing awesome. He has no shootouts, uh, shoutouts, but that's okay. I mean, it's much better than having Plant fucking up every time. I'm, I'd much rather have Plant play 50 games, guys, and have a uh, normal season like this. Like, I'm okay with uh, Lieutenant, all right? Lieutenant is playing great right now. I'm, I want to keep him. Uh, I want to keep playing him. So, two, four, six, eight, and ten. And, uh, yeah, let's continue. Let's continue, guys. Lieutenant, you're playing great for us right now so i'm keeping you on, on the on the job right here blackburn is back let's uh get him back in there guys with a uh, dryer so we're gonna get him back with padlick i guess there we go all right so as i was saying 50 wins after 80 games played with 50 wins 20 games uh, 20 losses and 10 losses in regulation uh, and shootout and overtime so Cobalt Chuck, as you can see, is still the fourth player. I believe he's going to stick as the fourth player, the best player in the league. Uh, he's 135 uh, points right now. One hell of a season. Yeah, it's probably his best of his career. And that's really great. Uh, that flyer is having 100. And, uh, he's going to have 150 points probably per season. And that's really great. So, one, two, 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 three, uh, three four three and look at this eight to one eight to three that's really good uh stuff right there so four uh four three and he, uh, four and three right here six uh no five and three five and uh five basically and that's not uh, that's ten so five and five for the last ten 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 games so not that good for Litton and started to having a little bit more of a tough time in the last 10 games. We're gonna go look at his stats, see what he uh what happened with him. So he went down from 0.1 percent. He's still playing great, he's still playing really awesome for us, guys. Yeah, I, I mean, 5 5. I think I want to get back Plant in there. Just for the last two games, just to not piss him off too much, you know. Plant is set is sat up for 30 games straight uh, without playing. Yeah, Litonin is uh, having a tough time. He said he's 76 overall now. Yeah, he's having a tough time. He's not playing so good. So we're just gonna play Plant in here, and um, for the last two games, and uh, we'll let um, let Litonin get uh, a little bit of rest up until the playoffs because you know we're going to use the tunnel for the playoffs so we're going definitely on the playoffs here a uh, plant wins the last two games for us and that's really good let's go right into the playoffs see we're going to face up against in the first round and the third year we're facing up against philadelphia flyers once again all right well we're, we're kick their asses again guys no more no worries about that uh we'll look at the I want to look at the stats so player stats of the nhl this year what our players did for us i want to see so let's go our best goal score this year was kovalchuk with 65 points uh, 65 goals i should say and uh, we've got 49 goals out of uh, eric Stahl. really great year out of him 41 goals for bobby ryan another greatest acquisition guys i'm really good with these Best player, Kovalchuk, of course, 138 points. Uh, by far his best season he's got in his entire career. Really good for him. Uh, he's 27 years of age. He's got a lot of years uh, ahead of him still. So, really great player. Uh, Egginglas, 112 uh, points. Probably his best season of his career as well for him. Really good. Eric Stahl, 111 points. 60, 75 points for Bobby Ryan, 72 points for uh, Dicky Moore. Now Dicky Moore had a better year than last one, last year, but still a pretty disappointing one for someone that should have more points than games played. Um, he's having less points, but it's okay, guys. He's he's okay. All right, 
I guess he's he's not getting any goals in shootout probably because he's not playing in uh, penalty kills. He's not there in the penalty kills probably. It sh look at his shooting a, a percentage as well. Uh, shooting accuracy is not as good as the first as first year. So that's probably one thing. But he actually he's a pretty, really good player. He's just not producing. You know, he doesn't score uh, like the other first year. He actually scored a lot, which helped him out. But the two previous the two years now it's two years where he doesn't really score. Uh, Pronger really good. Robin Robinson. Not as good as the two previous seasons, but still pretty awesome. And Fosberg uh, slowed down. He had a really great season. Uh, 60 points in 65 uh, games. It's just the problem is that um, he got injured a long time. So he missed a lot of games. That's pretty much what happened there. He missed a lot of games. All right. Steve Schott. Not that great of a year. 54 points. Um, minus everywhere, minus 19. Uh, not a great year for him at all. Um, disappointing year for him, definitely. But it's all right. All right, he's, I'm sure he will come back on uh, eventually. Anybody else? Uh, defenseman wise, we already saw that. And goaltenders. All right, so for 30 games straight, we just sat uh, Plant. We benched Plant completely for 30 games. Uh, Lieutenant played all right for us. I mean, 91 per saving percentage, just really great. Uh, so 20 goal, uh, 20 wins. Uh, Plant got 32 wins, 20 losses. All right, it's uh, it's not that good. It's not that good. Only one shout out to in 50 games played. Plant is not good. Yes, yeah, it's not a good goalie. Gonna have to trade him or get rid of him once his contract gets uh, it's done. Uh, we're gonna look at the league now best player of the league really quick just to see who did what so best scorer of the league was Gabarik with 66 win uh, goals we are the best uh, player of the league was uh, Guy Lafleur with 150 points Maurice Richard with 150 points as well um, Gabarik 141 Koval Shark Bilivo 135, Crosby 120, Frolov 119, and Brown, Dustin Brown 116. All these players right here. All right, really good. Defense-wise, who was the best defenseman? Dion Phaneuf, 89, 83 points, really great season out of him. Buffalgun, Shara Sirizawa, which is probably a prospect. Yeah, he is. Pronger is uh, top six, so that's pretty good for us. And goaltender wise, best goaltender of the league was by far uh, Carey Price this year with uh, 47 wins. Awesome, awesome for him. That's really good for him. With 47 wins, by far the best player. Fleury, all right. Anybody else? Jacques Plant was all the way at 14, uh, 14th place. Uh, why? Because he only played 42, 52 games. Because I couldn't count on him for to play 70 games. Because he just wasn't playing. It, it wasn't doing the job. All right. So I'm gonna stop it right here. I'm gonna see you all for the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't uh, enjoy this one. Keep it easy.